Hey guys, uh, before we begin, I'd like to apologize for the delay on this video. I've been kind of preoccupied with the uh, end of school and the beginning of summer, but here's part four finally, and it will be covering a set of mistakes made by new spies that hopefully, once they are corrected, will greatly improve the quality of their gameplay. Originally, I was planning on a specific class and weapon strategy type of video, but I realized that may be a little bit dull and would take up like four videos. Instead, I'm thinking I'll start to focus on more actual matches with some casual commentary, because uh, people are asking for it, and released kind of guide videos on a more irregular basis based on how many people want it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, the first mistake I see a lot of spies make is, of course, of bumping into people. Uh, as I've said in my past videos, uh, whether you're cloaked or disguised, colliding with an enemy player is probably the easiest way to get yourself killed, so avoid doing it at all costs. Um, if you know that a specific route tends to be congested, find another way to get around it. If you're disguised in the middle of a group of enemies, make sure you have space to maneuver around. Um, once again, taking the shortest route possible is not worth it if you're just going to die because you took it. The second mistake I see a lot of new spies making is uh, poor disguising. Now this is kind of a general statement, um, so I'm going to focus on three points. The first one is just inappropriate disguising. Um, for example, don't disguise as a spy as you're, if you're going to be behind the enemy team because it makes no sense for a team spies to be behind them. Um, on the other hand, don't disguise as a sniper if you're going to be on the front of the enemy team because that also doesn't make any sense that a, a team sniper would be up front. Um, I know you guys are smart, so use your common sense to kind of figure out when you should disguise and what you should disguise as. Now. The uh, second point is, I see a lot of people for some reason not disguising as a friendly class. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've seen a blue pyro running around the red team, and of course that's a dead giveaway that there's a spy in there. Um, so you know, if you're with your team and you're not cloaked or disguised as a spy, uh, please disguise as a friendly class, probably a uh, pyro or a sniper. The third point is actually something I've already covered in a uh, previous video, but it's uh, disguising and then cloaking instead of vice versa. Um, when you disguise and then cloak, the entire smoke animation plays, and anybody who can see you will see you for the entire smoke animation, so it's uh, pretty vital that you do not do that. The next mistake is uh, something you don't really have that much control over, uh, it's map awareness. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to go into detail on this one since it's just stuff you'll learn by playing on your favorite maps and your favorite servers over and over. Um, but all I can say is uh, try to make a conscious effort to uh, learn ammo and health spawns, um, locations that are uh, typically congested, and any alternative routes so you can get past these areas. The next mistake is looking suspicious, which sounds very vague, I must admit. But alert enemies will be able to tell a spy from a teammate simply from which direction they're looking or where they're currently positioned. Uh, for example, a pyro running straight into his team is likely to warrant some unwanted attention. Uh, on the same note, a sniper looking at his allies' backs rather than his enemy's head is probably going to get spy checked. So, you know, the best way that you can look convincing to the enemy team is to pretend as though you were on their team and that your allies were their enemy or your enemies so basically when disguised your actions will speak louder than your appearance another kind of vague mistake is the spy's reaction to damage damage can be classified two ways random damage and intentional damage uh, random damage would be something like a stray pipe bomb finding its way to your feet, or a, a few heavy bullets that happen to come your way. Uh, reacting to this would be a very good way to draw attention to yourself and get you killed. Uh, instead, you should just discreetly pick up a health pack and continue on your way. Intentional damage is a completely different matter. Um, a spy check would be considered as intentional damage, and oftentimes the best way to survive a spy check is to completely ignore it. Um, if you make any sort of response to a spy check, it will be pretty obvious that you're a spy, and unless you can get away quickly, you are likely going to die. Um, however, if they know that you're a spy and they're shooting you to kill you, then you need to get out of there, because if you try to continue acting as a class you're disguised as, 
you will probably die. So the hard part is just kind of figuring out whether they're shooting you just to like elicit a response from you or if they're actually trying to kill you so you can react accordingly. The next mistake is actually a very bad habit of mine. Uh, let me start off by saying that the spy's knife is the weirdest weapon in the game when it comes to numbers. From the back it does by far the highest DPS. From the front it does by far the worst. Therefore, face stabbing is one of the worst ways in the game to kill somebody, not only because it does poop for damage, but it completely negates the benefits of two of the three knives. The only time you should even consider face stabbing is if the target has under 30 health and killing them will actually help your team. Otherwise, just try to juke or pull out your revolver and shoot them a couple times. On the topic of juking, new spies tend to be very predictable. Uh, as a rule of thumb, when juking or escaping, go in the direction that makes the least amount of sense. Uh, for example, running straight back to your team or to the nearest health pack and when cloaking will oftentimes get you killed. Uh, as a side note here, grabbing health or ammo right in front of an enemy is usually unwise. Although this is a spy guide, sometimes the best way of playing a spy is not playing a spy at all. If you notice that you seem to be getting spy checked frequently or you're just dying repeatedly, uh, sometimes it's just best to pick another class for a bit. When you switch back to spy, people are less likely to suspect you and uh, the break may help you cool down a bit. Probably the biggest mistake that most spies make is somewhat of a given, not playing enough. The spy has the highest learning curve out of all the classes, so it's going to take a huge amount of time spent playing before you see improvement. This means that it's going to take some time and some effort to become better, and although I enjoy people watching my videos, you're not going to become better by watching videos or reading guides alone. You're going to become better by taking the information you learned and applying it in-game in a conscious way. The final spy mistake I have for you guys today is getting anywhere near Pyro ever. You can be cloaked, you can be disguised, but they will find you. They have some sort of sixth sense that lets them know when a spy is nearby, then WM1 mode is activated. Once that happens, uh, there's a 0.6% chance of survival, so good luck to you. So that's about it for this video. Uh, like I said, I'll try to focus more on commentary videos for specific maps, and uh, hopefully it'll be slightly more casual, as uh, I'm a bit of a herp derp myself, and uh, you know I really like kind of screwing around a little bit, so yeah. Uh, before I finish, I'd like to talk about a few things. Uh, first of all, I'd like to point you guys in the uh, direction of my friend Viruses Spy Guide on the uh, TF2 Spy Forums. It is a very well done, very detailed guide uh, regarding the uh, Spies metagame. Uh, it's, it's a little complicated, but I do highly recommend that you guys check that out. Um, also, I'd like to thank uh, Foxbeep for offering his services as a guinea pig. Um, I thank you, as well as my brother because uh, I'm not sure he's too happy with me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, you know, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.